So Everett Ashley leading the offense here will send Lorenz in motion. Thomas will get it around the five, looking for the end zone, and wow. he is in for the touchdown. How Chiefs. about that? Five-yard touchdown okay. run for Lorenz okay. Thomas and Eric. I'll tell you what, Moses Lake had this ball almost the entire quarter as well. 5.43 left in the first quarter. And what a drive by the Chiefs on the road. You're an 0-8 team playing arguably one of the best teams in the Big Nine. Well, they are. Eastmont Wildcats, you go down their first drive and score. Perfect start to the game. The quarterback, Corson Everhart, and Tally will go in motion. Number two rusher in the Big Nine. He's back in the backfield along with Austin Popoff, number 22. Corbin Keys over on the slot right, number 21. Well, actually, that's uh, uh, it is Corbin Keys. It goes in motion. Hand off. Look out. Uh, the touchdown. Here comes Pop off, and he pops one for the touchdown on the first play of the game for Eastmont. Well, we yeah, wondered if they would uh, answer back. 56 yard touchdown run. Thomas, meanwhile, is out of the lineup here on a second down and goal from the four and almost fumbling the ball. Ashley does fumble the football, but then, then he recovers it. it in the end zone. And we're waiting for the officials to indicate touchdown Moses Lake. Oh, how about that? Ashley fumbled it twice, actually, on that runner, almost once. Then he did fumble it, hits the ground, picked it up in the end zone, covered it, touchdown Chiefs and up once again. Tight end, tight to the right side for Eastmont is Hunter Rule. As Popoff is in the backfield, tally in motion. They handed the Popoff up the middle to the 10, to the, uh, excuse me, to the 5 and into the goal line, and he's in for a touchdown. Eastmont scores again, and at this pace, we're going to have 60 points per side tonight. <laughs> Popoff, seven yards on that carry. His second touchdown of the night, three carries, 68 yards for Austin Popoff in this first quarter. He does everything, doesn't he, Eric? He does, that's for sure. And he'll uh -oh. run to the right. Looks like he's going to try to keep it, and he's going to be belted short of the first down yardage by Jeremy Gregerson over there. Hello, Mr. Seven. Takes him out of bounds, shy of the first down. You know who else it was over there? The sophomore, Logan Snyder, number six, really put the pop on Thomas over there on the sideline. And he comes, Eric, as we know, from pretty good football lineage in here hit the Eastmont. Uh, Wildcat football program. What a hit over there on the sideline. As Carson tallies in the backfield, they're going to turn and hand it to him right up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Eastmont. Only the third carry of the night for Tally. He makes this one count. Eight yards, touchdown, Carson Tally. Eastmont takes the lead for the first time tonight. Three plays, excuse me, two plays <laughs> on the drive, 33 yards. And again, going for it on the punt, the fake punt. And that's kind of the gamble you take when yeah. you do that, Eric. It really is. It's 50-50, <laughs> right? On second down and short. Ruffins goes in motion. They hand it to Tally, and Tally is into the end zone. Another touchdown for Respawn. Fourth on the ground here in the first half. Two touchdowns for Popoff, one for Carson Talley, and Eastmont goes up by two scores. That was easy, and what a great job by Carson Everhart on that fake, and then the quick handoff to Talley. I don't think Moses Lake even knew it hit him, and Talley easily four-yard touchdown. First down and 10, ball left hash mark. Talley in motion. Fake the handoff. Here's the first pass of the ball game. Looking wide, wide open. open. And the ball caught at the 15, at the 10. Touchdown. Into the end zone goes Logan Easley on a 48-yard touchdown play. Great play call. I love the play call. You have your four horsemen. You like that one now? I like it. Doing their thing. You let Carson Everhart toss it down the field and Look at the result. First pass of the night, first catch of the night for Easley. 48 yards, Eastmont now firmly in control. On first down, back to pass goes Ashley. Throws up the far sideline, and the ball caught into the end zone. Touchdown, Moses Lake. Beautiful pass play, and the catch by Caden Carmack. The 6'3", 145-pound senior gathers it in for the score from 20 yards out. That was actually, wasn't it 30? I think it was at the 30, wasn't it? Or no, was it, it was the 20-yard 20 line? Yep. Okay, what a play, what a pass. It almost is picked off at the goal line by McIlwain. But then a nice reception by Carmack. Another nice catch by Carmack. He has two catches now for 35 yards in the game. 
I think Dennis Branstetter was asking Carson Everhart, what's your plan? What do you, what do you got going on? <laughs> I think you're going to so do too. this? You're going to throw it? What are you going to do? And it looks like he's going to take a knee, and that's going to be it. Maybe. No. How about a pitch? How about a How double about a reverse? reverse? How about a pass play? How about play? a flea flicker? Carson Everhart wide, wide open. open with the it's catch. Ruffin. Austin Ruffins to the 10, to the 5, into the end zone. Oh. <laughs> Ruffins. Well <laughs> executed play. It's one thing to design it. It's another thing to execute it. You need blocking for that to work as well. And they had it there. Plenty of time to pull that one off because it takes a while to set that thing up. And also it takes discipline for the offensive lineman not to get downfield as far as as long as that play takes to develop. And a great job by Eastmont to pull it off on the 60 yard touchdown pass. Austin Ruffins on the connection with Carson Everhart. The extra point on the way, and it is good. Second down, a goal coming up from the 10-yard line. Eastmont backed up here after the onside kick was successfully given to Moses Lake on the uh, onside kick to start the second half. A pass into the end zone. The ball picked off by Oscar Calvillo. He thought about bringing it out of the end zone. Now he's going to take a knee back there, and it will be a touchback as Calvillo comes up with the interception. And on the season for the Chiefs, that has been the biggest thing that has been a, a thorn in their side all season long. That is their 18th interception thrown by quarterbacks this year. So here we go, Moses Lake football. They're going to quickly throw the ball. Picked Intercepted, up. beautiful job of reaching for that one by Jeremy Gregerson. Picks it off, falling to the ground at the 16-yard line. And just like that, Eastmont gets the football back. Two consecutive interceptions for Everett Ashley. Now 14 on the season, and that is huge, giving Eastmont the football right at the Moses Lake 21-yard line. The snap is by Carson Everhart. And the kickaway's got plenty of distance, and it's good. Wildcats sniffing the end zone one more time here on a third and goal coming up from the two-yard line. Motion is tally. Everhart tossing for the end zone. The ball caught over there, and the touchdown. Nicely done in the corner. Didn't catch the number yet. Lane Keller. Oh, wow. Good for Keller. With the touchdown grab, the 6'2", 175-pound senior certainly had the height advantage over on the far side of the field, and Everhart's finally able to connect with him for the touchdown for East Bond. I'm not sure if Everhart meant to hand that ball off. No, I don't know what he was trying to do there. It was so quick in the defense. He does hand this one off, and look out. Here oh, comes Pop God. off to the 40, to the 50. It's a foot race down the field to the 30 to the 20 10 touchdown Austin Popoff will take it 83 yards Eric 83 yards for Popoff who is having already an amazing night up until that carry had 134 yards rushing and what a night for Popoff and this one is the Wildcats are going to uh, get the victory here Turn handoff. There's a big hole. Look out as Vavanko will take it into the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown. Adrian Vavanko from seven yards out. Four carries for Vavanko on this uh, drive. 60 yards. It just got in the game. Austin, were you a little surprised at how well Moses Lake came out and played tonight in that first quarter? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we prepared like, uh, like, they weren't 0 8. We prepared like we need to play to our potential and uh, just came out a little slow in the first half and brought together in the second, the second half. Which really I cool. don't know about a little slow. They go down and score after what? It was an impressive drive 12 yeah. plays, 88 yards. And the question for us in the booth was okay, will Eastmont counter? Well, not only did you counter, but it took you one play as you bounce it in there for 56 yards. Tell me about that play. You guys are so patient when you run that football. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, got to give a big shout out to our line. Uh, they did a really good, good job blocking tonight. Uh, other than that, it's just it comes naturally. Uh, hole opens up, we hit it hard. Just can't really explain it other than that. Three touchdowns for you on the night. You had a little tiny one in there, eight yards, and then 88 yards on the last one. Again, I thought you guys were just kind of winding out the clock, but here you find yourself going up the uh, sidelines to the end zone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we just want to play to our potential next week, so we just wanted to end on a good note this week and go into next week strong. 
Well, yeah, as Dan mentioned before we came back from the commercial break, we got what we we're looking for for next week with all the marbles on the table here. Carson Everhart, congratulations on the uh, game tonight. Tell me about this passing attack. You guys, what, scored two out of your first three last week against Eisenhower out of the air, and you come up with it again here tonight. Yeah, you know, our big focus for this week was just giving Guys shots when they're open and it's it turned out well. I, I gotta ask you about that play right before halftime. I, did the official ask you if you're gonna take a knee? Because he, he came to you and I I saw him ask you something. I thought, yeah, East wants just gonna take a knee here. Uh no. Yeah, he asked what I was doing and I was like, what do you mean? Like I was so confused and he was like, Are you taking a knee or no? And I go, nah. And then we just had that trick play for the whole week. We've just been running it a couple of times in practice and it worked exactly how we practice.